Hi everyone, this is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's just after 4 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Central Time on Friday, November 17th, uh, 15th, coming on with the latest this afternoon on Tropical Storm Sarah, which is now just crawling westward just to the north of the northern coast of Honduras, moving now to the west at only two miles per hour, continuing to produce extreme he extremely heavy rainfall, the potential for life-threatening catastrophic flash flooding across the northern coast of Honduras here over the next couple of days with, again, the potential for up to 35 inches of rain. Uh, right now, our estimate of the maximum sustained winds associated with Sarah is about 50 miles per hour. And you can see, the, again, the center of circulation here just between the northern coast of Honduras and the Bay Islands, but the expansive cloud shield, all the shower and thunderstorm activity affecting uh, Honduras and much of the rest of Central America gradually moving toward the Yucatan Peninsula. Again, if we look at the forecast here, again, maximum sustained winds 50 miles per hour, now moving only to the west at two miles per hour. You can see that over the next 24 to 36 hours, Hours, the system is only going to crawl westward here across the Gulf of Honduras, re likely remaining just offshore. That should allow for at least a little bit of intensification. And right now we have a tropical storm warning in effect for much of the northern coast of Honduras, the Bay Islands, the Car Caribbean coast of Guatemala, the Belize coast, and the uh, portions of the uh, southern southeastern coast of the Yucatan Peninsula from Puerto Costa Maya southward along the coast of Mexico to Chetamal. And again, there, that means there is the expectation of tropical storm conditions within this warning area within the next 36 hours. Now with that slow motion, that's again going to lead to that very heavy rainfall. And then we are expecting the center of Sarah to make landfall somewhere along the coast of Belize uh, from a Saturday night into Sunday and then move northwestward across the Yucatan Peninsula as it weakens very slowly, uh, reaching sort of the uh, the northwestern the uh, western coast of the Yucatan uh, by Sunday night and Monday, and then likely dissipating uh, over the southern Gulf of Mexico or even a little sooner over the Yucatan Peninsula as we go from uh, su Sunday night and early Monday morning into Monday afternoon. So not expecting any direct impacts from Sarah as it goes northward, the remnants get pulled northward northward ahead of a front along the Gulf of Mexico could increase the moisture there, but not expecting any tropical cyclone impacts there. Again, that information, the, uh, the hazard, the biggest hazard we're going to be focused on in the next day or two is going to be the very heavy rainfall, again, focused primarily here along the northern coast of Honduras with uh, widespread rainfall totals of 15 to 25 inches, isolated amounts as high as 35 inches, leading to life-threatening flash flooding, potentially catastrophic impacts and landslides. And then a larger area of enhanced uh, heavy rainfall threat across much of the rest of Central America, the rest of Honduras, uh, northern and western Nicaragua, uh, Belize, El Salvador, portions of Guatemala, portions of the state of Quintana Roo in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. In these areas, expecting widespread rainfall totals of 5 to 10 inches, isolated amounts as high as 15 inches. So let's look at the key messages this afternoon for Sarah. Uh, again, through early next week, heavy rainfall from Sarah will cause catastrophic flash flooding and mudslides over portions of northern Honduras. Elsewhere across much of Central America, heavy rainfall will cause significant and life-threatening flash flooding and mudslides. And tropical storm conditions are expected along portions of the northern coast of Honduras, the Caribbean coast of Guatemala, the Belize coast, and portions of the Mexico coast along the Yucatan Peninsula where those tropical storm warnings are in effect. A reminder that for our Spanish-speaking customers in Central America and Mexico, you can get Spanish language products here on hurricanes.gov. Our key messages, our public advisory, tropical cyclone discussion are all available in Spanish. So a reminder to keep coming back here to hurricanes.gov for the latest on Sarah throughout the weekend. Uh, for those in Central America, please refer to products from your local National Meteorological Service and your local emergency officials. And of course, here in the United States, you can get the latest on your local weather from your local National Weather Service office at weather.gov. We'll be back with more on Sarah throughout the weekend. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan at the National Hurricane Center.